everyone needs food to survive. This is a well-known fact. Two of the most important food groups to maintain a healthy lifestyle are fruits and vegetables. These two categories make up a large part of an everyday diet, and yet not many people know the differences between them. There are many similarities and differences between fruits and vegetables in regards to both their physical and biological structure. Some examples of fruits include, but are not limited to, apples, cucumbers, pumpkins, and strawberries. The term vegetable encompasses many different kinds of food, such as carrots, potatoes, celery, and many more. First of all, the similarities. Both of these food groups are paramount for living a healthy life. The two also provide the consumer with many vital vitamins, such as potassium, vitamin A, and vitamin C. These nutrients have immensely positive impacts on not only a person's diet, but their overall well-being. It is also important for one's health to consume nutrients like vitamins through the consumption of fruits and vegetables because this is one of the most direct ways we are able to ingest these vital nutrients. Due to this, the amount of both fruits and vegetables a person should consume every day is similar and all dependent on the consumer themselves, differing with variables such as gender, age, height, weight, and physical activity. A physical attribute that can be seen in both fruits and vegetables is the fact that they are grown. They both require similar care with things such as water, soil, and sunlight. However, the similarities between these groups stop there. There are many more differences in the physical characteristics of fruits and vegetables. One of the most obvious differences between the two concerns seeds. Fruits are characterized for the seeds they carry, whereas vegetables are known for their lack thereof. Due to this difference in reproductive means, the way fruits and vegetables are grown is quite different. In order to grow a fruit, a seed has to first be harvested from the plant and then planted in the ground. Fruits are much more similar to other plants in terms of their developmental processes. Due to its growth from a seed, fruit plants actually bloom as flowers before the fruit is developed. The fruit that they eat, the fruit that we eat as well, is made by the plant as a means of production from the seed. This, however, is not the case for vegetables. This food group is known for its lack of seeds, therefore making the production of them much different. The way the vegetable plant is cultivated is rather than harvesting the seeds of a plant, it is by taking a certain part of the plant and propagating it in a specific amount of soil and water in order to facilitate healthy growth. It can also be seen that many different vegetables are what we consider to be root vegetables, meaning that they grow under the soil rather than above, with just leaves sprouting from the ground in order to absorb sunlight. The rest of the nutrients are absorbed through the soil and water that's in the ground. Both fruits and vegetables have their advantages, but I believe that vegetables are better. Not only are they much easier to grow, but they are much more versatile. They can be eaten raw, baked, grilled, and almost any other method of cooking you can think of. It is much easier to consume something that can be used in many different ways rather than fruits, which are usually just eaten raw, but can be cooked for things such as baking. That being said, both the food groups provide extremely healthy dietary benefits 
and should be part of everyone's everyday lifestyle.